everyone welcome back to another video so just before I start this video my plan today was to pamper myself and as you can see I dyed my hair I was going to be putting my own nails on today but with an orange finger I'm going to wait until the dye has come out I have used acetone I have used bleach I have used alcohol you name it I cannot get this off my finger so instead of doing my own nails for a video today, I'm doing these ones. Now, be unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but I forgot to hit record. So the first two fingers <laughs> have already been done. So on the little finger, I went in with sugared almond and I've done an extended nail bed. And then on the ring finger, I used Glitter Bell's new loose glitter, the new one that I got slushy, and I've just done a full glitter nail. And now onto the middle finger and I'm going in with blue pastel all over the nail. So just want to say welcome back to my regular viewers and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you could go ahead and do it now. So I really, really do apologise for my monkey fingernails at the minute. Um, it was my plan to do it today. And unfortunately for me, though, when I don't have my nails on, you can really, really notice the arthritis in some of my fingers. So I like to have my nails on because it kind of distracts away from it. And it's just one of the reasons why I don't really work as much because I've got the arthritis in my hands. So moving back to the nails and on the pointer finger, I'm going in with sugared almond and I'm just spreading that down the nail. Um, I'm not just down is normal I'm not even trying to make any shape with it because I'm going to go in and do a pattern on top of it back onto the middle finger and I'm going in with shark at the bottom of that nail and I'm just going to ombre it up into the blue pastel this shark is absolutely gorgeous. I I love, blue is one of my favorite colors. So is pink because my um, little studio is done in pink, but this blue is just, oh, it's so lush. So for any of my regular viewers, you know that I normally have my little pad with me where I do my little, you know, design first of all, but I'm winging it with this set. Um, my eldest son was staying over and he took it, so I have got no pad, so I'll have to get another one. But anyway, I was going to go back in um, and do this nail all, of, all as a marble, and then I thought, you know what, I always do like full marble nails or half marble nails, I'm going to do something completely different. So on this finger, I really do something completely different and it's got marble, it's got glitter, it's got blue, it's got everything. This is the slushy mix from uh, Glitter Bells, it's the loose glitter that they brought out and just to place it onto the nail, I dip my uh, brush into uh, glass slippers and then I dip it into the glitter and then place it on the nails. Depending on how much the glitter you're using or, you know, where you want to do it. If you have laid down wet acrylic and you want to put glitter on top of it, you can do it that way. But on the ring finger and on this finger, I just dipped it into glass slippers first and then placed it on the nail. Now I'm going in with the blue pastel and I'm just going to blend that right down to the free edge. And I am also going to go in with the blue pastel and put it above the marble and just kind of take it up in a curve towards the cuticle. Thank you. 
I'm not using any cut out tools or anything for this one. I'm just going to use my brush and work with the acrylic while it's still wet. I think because obviously I'm winging it, you know, and I had already laid down the first part of the acrylic and then decided to change it up. So that was another reason why I didn't use my little cutting tool. So it's Friday here in Northern Ireland. Well, it's Friday in most of the world today, but um, for the lockdown, all our shops open today, um, all our retail shops open today. So just looking online, the queues have been absolutely mad. I'm so glad that I didn't, um, you know, go head for the town or anything like that. I think I'll wait until all the hype sort of calms down a bit and then I'll maybe venture out. Now I'm just redefining that um, small extended nail bed that I've done and then I'm going to go in with Shark. So I'm putting shark right up to the extended nail bed area and I'm going to spread it right down to the free edge but the, I'm then going to take up a bead of the blue pastel and I'm going to ombre the blue pastel up into the shark so it's kind of like a little bit of the opposite of the middle finger. So I've tried to keep um, the bead quite dry for this because I need um, it to be co more concentrated and if you work that little bit wetter, it, you just won't get the colour through, especially going on top of a darker colour. Uh, but I love sometimes how two colours from the same um, like colour family, so two blues or two oranges, how they blend together. Um, they just blend together seamlessly and I absolutely love it. So I'm now going in and I'm capping the nails with the glass slippers. I'm only going to show one nail being capped just to keep the length of the video down.
Now I'm on to my filing routine. As you can see, I'm starting at the side walls. I'm making sure they're nice and straight. And then I'm going into the lower arch and I'm making sure that's nice and straight and coming out in line with the natural nail. Then I go to the free edge and holding my file vertically, I go in an up and down movement. And that way I can see if the free edge is straight. Once I've done all that, I then file over the whole of the nail apart from the apex area. And I'm always filing in an upward motion towards that apex because that is the strength part of your nail. Um, and you wanna keep the height there the best you can. It's top coat time my favorite time and I've, I've used glitter in this one so we really should get to see um the nails come to life so i'm using glitter bells non-white top coat because all the acrylic is from glitter bells so i thought i'll go ahead and i'll use the glitter bells one even though at the minute though my favorite top coat is the glitter planet one i love it You can just see that glitter just starting to come to life even though it's like blue glitter it does reflect a little bit of green so that glitter will also go with your tiffany teal it'll go with your forbidden forest um because i put it beside those ones whenever i was deciding um what colors to use today but um i was going to do blue on my own nails uh but i've done them here um i'm now i'm just going in and i'm adding some rhinestones and Instead of doing my normal cuff up at the cuticle, I'm doing the band around the middle of the nail. And I'm going to add my little caviar beads as well, just in between each, each rhinestone and it kind of makes it look more like a ring.
So after I had applied all the rhinestones to the nails and cured them and thought, right, this is the finished set. As you can see, I do my normal little, you know, movement. And then I thought that the glitter nail was just lacking something. So I've decided to go in with some of the Snowdrops White and just do not so much petals, but just like a little sort of design around just after the rhinestones. When I'm doing any kind of, you know, like petals or, you know, any acrylic 3D work, I always pick up my bead of acrylic with a wet brush and then I drain it out. As soon as I see the acrylic has went glossy, then I know that it will stick to the nail bed. And um, by draining out my brush, it means that it's not going to like spread over the nail. So hopefully I will get a chance to get some nails on myself and do a video for you over the weekend. Um, but here is this finished set and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can do it now. And I will see you all on Monday for a new video. Have a nice weekend, guys. See you soon. Bye.